All right, we'll take a look and see what Luis can do. That's perfect. You know what? That's fine. You take seven damage. Luis! You had a 9% chance to miss! Why does... Why? It's already clean. Shut up, Marth. Let me enjoy this. Want to see another creepy wake-up scene? Oh boy, do I. You get one per battle. Oh boy. Oh boy. You have a good Mickey Mouse impersonation. Well, years of watching the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse with my nieces and nephews taught me a thing or two. <laughs> Mickey Coon. Sora, we have to defeat the cavities. <laughs> good level up, good level up, good level up. Come on. It's okay, guys. We'll get one eventually. <laughs> we're, we're due. We're due. Strength, speed. Strength and speed. Give me the strength and speed. Why? Why? Usheron? Don't miss. You did the thing that I told you not to do. All right. I don't think things will go terribly wrong. I could be wrong, though. Vander! Vander, stop! For the love of God! This is your sixth critical! I need experience! Please! Strength! Just give me strength. Give me more than 1.2. No! <laughs> Why, God? Why me? You just throw your little spear. Eh. You can throw knives? That's so cool! I love that! Thief buff! Heck yeah! Daggers poison you if they do damage? Do they? How bad is poison? <laughs> On a scale of one to oh no, how bad is poison? Very least will break you. This ends now. God freaking! You know what? Fine. <laughs> I am the divine dragon. What? <laughs> Jesus! Colchan really wanted that guy dead. <laughs> if I take a step forward with this dude, he's gonna get obliterated. Now I need to see how, what's the worst thing that could happen. Ah, yes. Rider's Bane. <laughs> Honestly, the best thing for me to do might be not attacking. I'm pretty sure Boucheron will get obliterated if I bring him up. So we'll have you wait. Oh wait, that's right, he has Rider's Bane! John, you just looked at his equipment. Mage, don't kill him. How did Vander dodge that? <laughs> okay, so I have an idea. An awful idea. A wonderful awful idea I can still fight yeah I'm starting to think that you can't this is a difficult situation there is an archer over there but there's a chance that they're stupid <laughs> there's a chance that the advanced maddening AI is not very smart this one's a tough opponent he can keep on fighting even after taking a fatal blow excuse me the flowers been cut so uh, remember what I said about uh, cheat to doodle <laughs> Think, think that might be necessary. Okay, so I have a new idea. I just need to find out if it's possible. We're gonna have everybody run back and follow everybody through this little hole. <laughs> Everyone's dying. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, everybody got skadoodled there. <laughs> Magic and speed. God, <laughs> I don't even like luck. Luck is important if you want a lower chance of being hit with a crit. Yeah, see, but the problem is I'd prefer my mages not to get hit ever. <laughs> I try to keep them away from people that I know will be able to hit back. But you know, I wish that that, that point in luck could have gone to anywhere nicer, like defense or... <laughs> ah, Fram, you shall be my powerhouse yet. So here's what I'm worried about. If the rider comes up and he hits Colchan, she'll survive it, sure but she probably will also kill the horse unit, which would then be bad because that guy could come up and just kill her. So what I might do instead is trade like so, and hopefully that works out. Oh wait, no, oh no, I can't change that. <laughs> Darn, that's not a weapon I could trade. Uh, we're just gonna have to hope for the best here. Okay, that wasn't an option I was expecting. Don't worry, this will miss. <laughs> Alfred is in the worst timeline. See, what's going on here is that we're the Avengers and I'm like, I'm Doctor Strange and Alfred is asking me how many timelines he survives in. You die in every timeline, but one. 
And I'm currently trying my hardest to find that one where you don't just get gutted in the face by an axe. Poison decreases defense. You know what, Finfran? Me and J-Rod have been trying to figure out what the frick Poison has been doing for like an hour now. And then you come in here and just drop the knowledge bomb, which is very useful. It also explains a lot. It explains quite a bit about why Alfred, the person who is poisoned, dies all the time. They explain poisoning in the next chapter. That's not, that's so mean. It's pretty funny, but that's terrible. This might sound pretty crazy, guys. How about we just keep standing here, right? We just keep standing here and let Fram continually heal. 1% crit <laughs> sitting there and waiting. Listen, you all know that it'll be freaking funny if I get 1% critted. <laughs> so it's either he misses, I run out of heals, or he 1% crits me. Back in the GBA days, I was the type of person to uh, intentionally let someone like an armored knight sit in a narrow passageway so that my healer could get to level 20 within the first couple of chapters. You're really gonna punch? I respect this healer. I don't, I really don't know why he thought that was a good idea, but I respect it. Why is this guy so scary? <laughs> He's so freaking spooky. I don't know how to adequately deal with him. Tank with Louise, problem solved. The problem is I'm afraid this guy is just gonna absolutely destroy Louise. All right, well, take a look and see what Louise can do. That's perfect. You know what? That's fine. You take seven damage. Louise! You had a 9% chance to miss! Why does, why? Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Don't. God, you suck! Come on! It was a 39% chance! Chat, if he hits me for 39% again, what are the odds that it happens twice? Oh! Why? What? Glad it missed, not sure why you would risk that. How long have you been watching this stream? <laughs> too long. There's no such thing as too long. I have a 5% chance to miss. So, sorry. <laughs> good level. Oh my god, it's a good level. <laughs> we take those! Oh my god, 50 turns. Yeah, perhaps I might have uh might have been a little overzealous with the heel grinding. <laughs> Thank you, all of you, for rescuing me. No, this is bull crap. Why is my mom gonna get killed and yours is fine? Ben, stab her. Yes, Finn Fran, 50 turns. The art of healer grinding is a very patient art. She's gone. My mother passed away. No. That's awful. <laughs> Why does she sound so insincere? No. Oh, that's awful. Oh, man. How are you feeling? Better. It's been like 30 seconds. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm freaking amazing. <laughs> totally over the death of my mother, which I've known for about 10 minutes. Swear to me that you will come back alive. I don't think it's up to them to promise that. <laughs> she stares directly into my soulless red and blue eyes. Promise me they will come back. You can now change everyone into bathing suits if you want, which, which is totally not what I did. I, I, I never do that. Can I change my pupper into a swimsuit? Can I give him like a little, <laughs> a little swimsuit he can wear? I can dress up Crest Coon. Yes, that's all I've ever wanted. Finally, John still plays with toothpaste, but it's fun. I was the type of kid that like poured glue onto my hands, stuck them together, and like made a thin layer so I could peel it off and have a little hand-shaped glue marker. <laughs> the things we did to entertain ourselves as children. Forking a toaster. Hey, listen, I can promise you putting a fork in the toaster was the one thing I didn't do. But you know what I did do as a kid? I stuck a key in a power outlet, <laughs> which probably is not much better. The only reason that I'm still here and baby John didn't die when he did that was because I was holding a rubber end to it. <laughs> that was an interesting story to be told when I was older, though. Just my older brothers was like, oh, yeah, we were supposed to be watching you and you. And all of a sudden, the power started flickering, and we saw you holding a rubber key into an, an electrical outlet. 